A few of you have been asking me some questions about the use of this motor shield with your robot. And the main thing you're wondering is with, with this shield, all of the pins appear to be taken up. So how could you attach a sensor? So I did a little research and what I found was that uh, right in this corner, you can see A0 through five right there. Those are actually the analog input pins to the Arduino. So I have taken uh, a, a sensor and attached it according to the wiring description that you can see there, plus five volts, I've connected to purple, ground, I've made gray, and the analog in there, which is analog input zero, I've made white, and I've hooked this up to a little VEX potentiometer. And so the hope is uh, that we can read this pin uh, right in the Arduino software. So let's uh, take a quick look to see if that is the case. What you can see in my program here is that I have created a sensor pin and I've named that A0. And I'm just printing out the value of that sensor. So if, if we look in the serial monitor, monitor, you can see right now that that's putting out 1023. If I now take the potentiometer and spin it around, you can see that uh, that value is now changing. I spin it all the way one way, we get zero, and as I rotate it back, we get a continuous reading of the analog value of that port. So for those of you looking to uh, make a measurement or react to a sensor on that port, that is the best way to do it. Now you might also ask, those are analog inputs. Uh, is there anything you can do that will turn those into digital outputs? Uh, digital inputs and outputs? And the answer is yes, those are actually on the Arduino. Uh, those are listed as digital pins 14 through 19. So if in the program you change that sensor pin from A0, so just as you've been using that as an analog read, you could change that to a digital read as well, just using pin 14. So hopefully that answers your questions. Good luck in using this in your robots.